Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see what is an option and parameter group in PostgreSQL, which is uh, deployed in RDS. So when we talk about the PostgreSQL, uh, let us assume is it, it is on on-premises or EC2 instance. The way it behaves is uh, the, the configuration is mentioned in PostgreSQL.conf. But in case of managed instance like RDS, wherein Postgre is available as a managed instance, in that case, you do not have access to PostgreSQL.com file. So the parameter will be available as uh, parameter groups. So we have two terminologies which come into place so when you talk about Postgre as a managed instance in RDS. One is the parameter group and another is option group. Parameter group contains the PostgreSQL.conf uh, parameters wherein you can create a new configuration uh, parameter file from the existing sample of each uh, uh, each instance which is related to your uh, particular instance version. Let's say Postgre 13, you have a different uh, uh, template available for parameter group and so is available for the others. But what if I need something else apart from the parameter group? So RDS has provided an option for the options group. So any additional feature which you want and if it is offered by the RDS, as a managed instance for PostgreSQL, then you need to use the options group. And uh, this, is, uh, this is available for all the managed uh, instances. But in case of Postgre, this value is not available. So if you go to the RDS instance, you have two, two things. One is the parameters group. And uh, let's say if I wanted to see uh, the value of the default uh, Postgre 13 parameters, I, I, I will be able to see it the way we have seen it in the previous demo. So we have the options available. But if I wanted to see what all is there in the options group, you will not be able to see it for the uh, Postgre 13. Let's say if I sell, just select the default Postgre 13. So you can see it is just uh, the ARN name is mentioned. The option group name is there. Uh, the uh, description is there, but there is, there is nothing inside that, right? We do not have uh, we do not have anything over here. So what you can add is just the tags in case of the options. So basically, there is no concept of options when you talk about the Postgre in RDS. Then why we are talking about it? We are talking about it because we have uh, something else other than this. If you go to the uh, Postgre SQL and let's say I am already connected to one of the RDS instance. Here it is. If I wanted to see the parameter uh, uh, options, I will be just saying select star from pg underscore settings. And this will show me. So there are two windows. Let me see where it has gone. Okay, these are the uh, the values which are available in your PostgreSQL.conf. Or in, in case of uh, Postgre RDS, we say this is the parameter group. The another is option groups. So option group is not available in case of Postgre at RDS. So uh, any additional feature or the new feature in case of Postgre we call is as extension. So if you wanted to see what all extensions are available in your Postgre, so you will simply say uh, pg underscore available uh, underscore extension. These are the extensions which are which are already available in case of Postgre, which is deployed in RDS. If it is your on-premises or EC2 instance, you have to deploy these uh, additional uh, extensions yourself. But in case of RDS, they are available. So if I say options group in Postgre at RDS. There is nothing like that. It is just blank. It is a blank template only. Since it is being offered for all the RDS instances, that's why a blank instance is given, but uh, a blank uh, options group is given. But if you wanted to see uh, more about the extra features which you can uh, avail in case of Postgre, so they are available as extensions. So you will simply say select star from pg underscore available underscore extensions. And this will show you how many extensions are available on your particular Postgre instance. So we have RDS Postgre 13, so these are the different uh, uh, 
uh, if you can see over here h store is there uh, fdw is there so you have almost all the the major extensions available in case of rds so instead of so just to uh, just to summarize there is nothing like options group in in postgre uh, which is deployed in rds and you have the uh, parameter groups which which is nothing just uh, the uh, the components of postgresql.conf and in case of uh, postgre at rds the options they they are blank but they are available as extension in postgre and uh, rds is already uh, deployed with those uh, uh, famous extensions and you just uh, have to say pg underscore available underscore extensions and that will show you what all uh, extensions are already available and uh, you can go ahead and use them i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you